Abbott here with Chef Ev, my co-star, and tonight we're going to be showing you guys how to make... Yeah, go ahead. Hi. <laughs> tonight we're going to be showing you guys how to make um, our delicious Epicure Donaires with our East Coast Donaire sauce. Um, so you ready, Ev? Yeah. Let's get cooking. Okay. Okay. So Chef Everly here is going to show you guys how we're going to do the donaires. It's super simple. We've got a pound of ground beef here. Yeah, can you put that in there for me? <laughs> okay, we're going to pop it in our multi-purpose steamer here. You got that? <laughs> it's squishy, isn't it? And now we're going to take our donair seasoning, we're going to add this in. Can I put it in? Yeah, go ahead. You can put it in. And then we're going to take a quarter cup of water and add this in as well. Yeah, okay. Get it all in? Good job. Good job. All right, you're gonna mix that up. You're gonna use your hands. No. You want me to do it? No, I wanna. I, I wanna mix it with this. Okay, you go ahead and mix it with that. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your one pound of ground beef and then your donair seasoning, and also a quarter cup of water, and you're gonna mix that all together in a multi-purpose steamer, and then we're gonna pop that in the microwave for 13 minutes, and it's gonna be done. Super simple and easy. This is one of my favorite meals to do um, because of how like you just have three ingredients and you pop it in the microwave and it's done and it tastes just like donair it's amazing well are we going to do the other part yeah we're going to do the other part but we got to mix this all together see just like this you can use your hand if you want it feels like play-doh no i don't <laughs> <laughs> it feels gooey it is kind of gooey isn't it yeah you go ahead you got that can you mix that for me Good job. Okay, I'm just going to wash my hands. I can wash my hands. Yeah, when you're all done, okay? You let me know when you're done. Good job. I can't. I can't they're all wash done. Okay, hands. you go wash your hands. No, I'm going to wash my hands up there. Okay. So we've got it all in our multi-purpose steaming here, all nice and mixed up. I'm just going to give it one more good mix here. And then we're just going to press it down into the bottom of the steamer. Now you guys can use any of the steamers that you have at home. Uh, we have our round steamer and then our um, rectangular steamer, which is perfect for doing it. Just going to pat it all down in the bottom nice and even. And just like that, donair is ready to go in the microwave, and it'll be done in 13 minutes. We're going to pop that in here. Are we going to still talk to them? Yeah, we're not done yet, honey. So there's 13 minutes set. Can I wash my hands? Good job. Can I wash my hands? Maybe? Yeah, you wash your hands, okay? Mommy's just going to show them the next part. So now we've got um, our sides that we're going to do up. So we've got some red onion. We're going to take our mandolin here. And our mandolin comes with four different um, size slicers. We have the 1.5 millimeter. We have the 3.5 millimeter. We have the 3 by 3 millimeter Julian. And then the 6 by 6 millimeter Julian as well. Come on up. Mommy's going to do this part though, okay? Because it's sharp. So we have to be careful. Sure, so you're just okay. going to take your little guard here, pop it into your vegetables. This is perfect. Okay, can I, can I try? No, you can't do this part. Oh, I want to I wanna push that. Okay, when I'm done, okay? Um, this is perfect if you guys just want to do some nice thinly sliced vegetables, or if you guys are looking to do uh, scalloped potatoes, this okay, works now perfect. can I push it? And as you guys can see, super thinly sliced, but excellent no. for the donairs. Don't touch yet, please, okay? You just got to be patient. Okay, then we're going to pop that right onto our red onion. Same thing. Down. Got some nice red onion there, thinly sliced as well. Can I touch them? You want to touch them? Mm -hmm. Okay, how about you hold the plate and I'll do the rest. How does that sound? Is that okay? Yeah, can I just eat one? You want to eat one? Okay, you go ahead and eat one. Is it good? Delicious. <laughs> now we're going to take our tomato. Just thinly sliced again. You guys can use the thicker slice for this, but we like ours nice and thin. And we've got some thinly sliced tomato we're going to pop on the plate. 
And I've also gone ahead and pre-washed and cut some lettuce. So that's going to go in there as well uh, once the donair is done. So that's that. We've got our fixing all done while the rest is cooking. Okay, now we're going to do the lettuce. Yep, now we're going to do the sauce. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, just one second. <laughs> You're crazy. Give this a little wipe down here. All right, now Everly here is going to show you guys how to do our East Coast Donair sauce, which is amazing. Um, the recipe it can be found on my website as well. There's no water in it, there's nothing in it. So we're going to use our four cup prep bowl here. Uh, these prep bowls, guys, are amazing. We have the four cup and then we have the mini ones as well. The okay, minis come I in a set of four. Okay, just one sec. And then this one comes individual, but they come with these really um, handy silicone lids. So if you're doing meal prepping or if you're cooking tacos or anything, you just pop the lid on afterwards and pop it in the fridge and it saves a lot of dishes that way. Okay, can I do it? Yep, go ahead. So we're going to add in um, <clears throat> two tablespoons of sugar here. Good job. Sugar. Okay, what's the next one? You want to do the milk next? Okay, we're going to do a quarter cup of milk. Do you like milk? I like milk too. You like chocolate milk? Yeah. Yeah. Is that your favorite? Okay, I'm going to do that. Yeah, now you can do that. I'm going to let that in it. Yep, and now we've got a half a cup of mayo. We're going to have to use this. Okay, I want to do it. You, how about you mix it, okay? Okay, I'm going to mix it. Be gentle. So we've got our half a cup of mayo, a quarter cup of milk, two tablespoons of sugar, and now we're going to add in one and a half teaspoons of our delicious roasted garlic aioli mix. This is awesome on its own, but you guys can also use it in basically anything that you would use garlic powder. You would add this in, and it is awesome. Um, it's All of our products are low sodium. Are you mixing it faster? You're crazy. So we're just going to do one and a half. Teaspoons. Yeah, keep mixing. We're not done yet. You got it? Good job. Be careful. You don't want to spill it. And then the recipe also calls for um, two, <laughs> two teaspoons of white vinegar, uh, but when we cook, we like to use lemon instead. It's a great alternative yeah, for wanna, vinegar. You want to squish it? Okay. Are you going to show them how to do it? Yeah. Okay, just one second. Just one second. Let me get it in for you, okay? You squish it into this bowl. So we've got our um, citrus press here, our two-in-one citrus press. It's perfect for lemons or limes. Got it? Yeah, this looks like lemon juice. This looks like lemon juice. <laughs> Good job. Okay. I think now that's about right there. So, okay, yep, you can dump it in there now. You got it? Okay. Okay, now we're going to take our mini whisk and we're just going to mix that all together. Oh, it's like a mixer. It looks like a mixer? It does, doesn't it? But it's Everly size. Yes. Chef Ev size. Can I help you? I'm just going to whisk it. Oh. <laughs> Is that silly? So what are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? Well, that's basically it, honey. We just got to wait for the donair to finish and then supper is done. We already did that, we already chopped it all up. So we've got our East Coast Donair sauce right in here, which we're gonna pour over top of our delicious Donairs when they come out. And we've got, we're just gonna show them all the stuff we made. And then we've got our um, vegetables here that we're gonna add in, some tomatoes, some cucumbers, and some delicious red onion that we quickly chopped up using okay, our amazing I mandolin. Want, I want some more more. You want another one? All right, you can have another one. And then we just have eight minutes left on the donair, and it is going to be done. And then we'll be able to put it all together on our delicious pitas here, and that will be dinner. I'm also going to pair it with a Greek pasta salad that we made yesterday, so we have some leftovers. But our Greek dressing uh, only takes a couple ingredients, and it's fantastic on Greek pasta salad. <laughs> okay, you ready to say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, just shoot me a message or a comment below. And uh, I'll post a picture afterwards to let you guys see how it went. Anyways, guys, have a good night. Bye.